Use Ansible to automate installing a web server. In this lab, you will first configure Ansible so that it can communicate with a web server application. You will then create a playbook that will automate the process of installing Apache on the web server. You will also create a customized playbook that installs Apache with specific instructions. Required resources, one PC with operating system of your choice, VirtualBox or VMware, DevNet Associate Virtual Machine. Launch the DevNet Associate Virtual Machine. If you have not already completed the lab, install the DevNet Associate Virtual Machine. Do so now. If you have already completed that lab, launch the DevNet Associate Virtual Machine now. Okay, go to Oracle VirtualBox. Uh, before to start, right click, go to Settings. Go to network and verify is NAT on adapter one NAT and be sure cable is connected. Okay. And start the virtual machine. Very good. Configure Ansible. The DevNet Associate Virtual Machine comes pre-installed with a number of dummy IPv4 addresses you can use for various scenarios and simulations. In this part, you will configure Ansible to use one of the dummy IPv4 address for a local web server. Okay, for example, go to Terminal. and IP address command. Okay, this is the loopback interface, the Ethernet interface, and dummy interface. A lot of IP addresses, the dummy IP addresses. Open a terminal in the DevNet associate virtual machine enable the ssh server the ssh server is disabled in the devnet associate virtual machine along with other services that are typically not required start it with the following command sudo system ctl start ssh okay so start the daemon or ssh server sudo systemctl start ssh enter okay no messages that means all is okay okay no messages no warnings all okay now the SSH server and SSH pass utility have already been installed in your virtual machine. For your reference, these are installed using the following commands. If you want to install SSH, sudo apt get install open SSH server. And to install SSH pass, the utility sudo apt get install ssh pass open the ansible directory in visual studio code open visual studio code click file open folder and open labs devnet source ansible folder go to visual studio code is this Okay, and file, open folder, down here, labs, devnet source, ansible, and open, 
and now you will see Ansible on the Explorer here on the Explorer okay the two subdirectories for the Ansible labs are now loaded in the Visual Studio Code Explorer pane for your convenience you will work with the Ansible Apache directory okay you will work with this directory Ansible Apache this Ansible Apache edit the Ansible inventory file open the host file in the Ansible Apache directory and add the following lines to the host file and save okay so add this expand Ansible Apache subdirectory and select hosts and the file is empty but Add the following create the web servers web servers okay this is a section for web servers and the IP address uh, in this case use uh, one of the dummy IP addresses in this case, 182023. 182023. Space. Ansible underscore SSH user is dev associate. And the Ansible underscore SSH pass is Cisco one two three and exclamation mark okay be careful uh, C first C uppercase okay web servers section the IP address of the server the user and the password save The credentials dev associate and Cisco123 and exclamation mark are admin credentials for the DevNet associate virtual machine. The IPv4 address you will use for this lab is 182.0.2.3. This is a static IPv4 address on the virtual machine under the dummy zero interface as shown in the output for the IP address command. Okay, use IP address. And this is the the IP. Okay, um, IP address on dummy one eight two zero two three. I did the Ansible configuration file. In the Ansible Apache subdirectory, open the Ansible configuration file. Okay, on Visual Studio Code, select um, Ansible Apache, select Ansible configuration file. Only one line uh, comment. You can remove the comment, add the following lines to the file, and save it. The Ansible configuration file tells Ansible where to find the inventory file and sets certain default parameters. They okay, add this to the defaults, a comment, the inventory, and another comment, host key checking, and the trial files enabled. Okay, and edit the file, remove this comment. You can add uh, the uh, faults a comment your local host file in this folder so the inventory 
Okay. Uh, the inventory is placed in the local subdirectory in the same subdirectory. Okay. Point and slash means that the Ansible configuration file is placed in the same directory of hosts file. Okay. Ansible configuration file is placed in the same directory of hosts file. Okay. Another comment. Don't worry about RSA fingerprints. This is host underscore key underscore checking false enter and do not create retry files retry underscore files enabled false okay host key checking false do not create retry files retry files enable enabled okay d okay retry files enabled false and review very good save verify communications with the local server you will verify that Ansible can send commands to the local web server use the ping module to verify that Ansible can ping the web server Use the Ansible ping module to verify communications with the devices listed within the web server's group of your host's inventory file. Okay. Um, in Ansible Apache, in Ansible Apache directory, run Ansible web server section use the module ping okay okay you can do this on terminal uh, remember to save host file hosts file and ansible configuration file okay on terminal go to the subdirectory and change directory labs change directory and depnet source change directory ansible tab to complete change directory ansible dash apache tab to complete okay okay once you are on ansible Apache directory run the module ping and web servers. Remember this this section web servers section. It's this and use the module ping. Enter. Okay, ping to 1820023, success. Okay, remember the IP address 1820023. Okay, and if multiple devices were listed under the web servers group in your host's inventory file, the output would indicate similar information for each device. Use the command module to verify Ansible can communicate with the web server. Use the Ansible command module to verify communications with the devices listed within the web server's group of your host's inventory file. 
In this example, you send the argument A being echo hello world to ask the local web server to respond with hello world. Okay, and use the um, Ansible Apache directory, use Ansible to on web servers uh, group, use the module command, and send uh, uh, hello world, okay, echo hello world. Okay, Ansible web servers, the module in this case is uh, command, the option A, and the command is echo, and the, and the message is hello world. Enter. Okay, very nice. And the answer is also hello world. Okay. Create Ansible playbooks to automate web server installation. You will create two Ansible playbooks. The first playbook will automate the echo test you did in the previous part. Imagine you are bringing uh, 100 web servers online. The web server group in the host file would list all the necessary information for each web server. You can then use a simple playbook to verify communications with all of them with one comment. In the second playbook, you will create and automate the installation of Apache Web Server software. Create your Ansible playbook to test your web server group. In this step, you will create an Ansible playbook to perform the same echo command. In Visual Studio Code, create a new file in the Ansible Apache directory with the following name, test Apache playbook extension YAML. Okay, in Ansible Apache, create a new file, right click, new file, test apa underscore Apache underscore playbook dot YAML. test apache playbook dot yml enter add the following information to the file make sure you use the proper yml indentation every space and dash is significant you may lose some formatting if you copy and paste okay this Okay, uh, three dashes, enter, one dash, space, hosts. The host is the group web servers. Enter, tab, tasks, enter, tab, dash, name, column, run, echo, command. Okay, echo, tap, and the command is uh, being echo, hello world. Okay, ready, um, but don't forget to save. Run the Ansible playbook to test your web server group. 
run the Ansible playbook using the Ansible playbook command using the verbose option, you should see output similar to the following. Okay. On Ansible Apache directory. Okay, hide Visual Studio and Ansible dash playbook verbose option b dash b and the name of the file is test press tab to complete okay test apache playbook that yaml okay remember this file exists in the ansible apache directory okay this file exists in the ansible apache directory okay enter okay uh, the play uh, web servers the task is uh, one host found when it is zero to three run the echo command okay the standard output is uh, hello world very good this is the host okay two change it one very good okay fail at zero A standard error none okay standard output hello world very good Okay, two, change it one, fail at zero. When I do zero to three, this is the host. Create your Ansible playbook to install Apache. In Visual Studio Code, create a new file in the Ansible Apache directory with the following name install Apache playbook.yaml. Okay, on Visual Studio Code, on Ansible Apache directory, new file install apache underscore playbook dot y a m l okay review install apache playbook dot y a m l enter now add the following information to the file Make sure you use the proper YAML indentation. Every space and dash is significant. You may lose some formatting if you copy and paste. The highlighted text is explained in the next step. Okay, add the host web servers become yes. Okay, to get uh, privileges, to get root privileges. The task install Apache. Okay, this is for install Apache. This is to enable the module and this is to restart the process. Okay, examine your Ansible playbook. Okay. Uh, on install Apache Playbook, do the following. Okay, copy this, only these two lines. Enter tab, become column space yes to get root privileges, tasks, column tab dash space name column space only a name install apache 2 tab apt column name is uh, apache 2 space update cache yes state 
latest. Enter. Uh, another enter. Be careful with the alignment, the same alignment like name, name, column, enable, module, rewrite. It's only a name, you can use any name. Tab Apache to underscore module column. The name is uh, re write space and the state is present. Okay, notify call name re write state present. Notify uh, notify tab dash. Uh, Notify the following handler restart Apache 2. Okay. Enter backspace, 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 another enter handlers column tab dash name column. This uh, this handler restart Apache two the same name tab service. This is to restart name Apache two state restart. Okay, very nice. Enter, save, and review. Okay, install Apache 2, install with apt Apache 2. Now enable the module. Okay. Notify using a handler. This is the handler. Okay, use the same name here. Because the, the the task enable module rewrite is calling the restart Apache 2 handler. And this is the handler. And this is to restart the process or server. Okay, say examine your Ansible playbook. The following is an explanation of some of the significant lines of, in your playbook. Host web servers. This references the web servers group of devices in your host's inventory file. This playbook will be run for all the devices with this group. Become yes. The become keyword activates sudo command execution, which will allow tasks such as installing applications. APT. The APT module is used to manage packages and applications installations on Linux. Okay, APT is the, co the command to install packages. And handlers, handlers are similar to tasks but are not run automatically. They are called by a task. Notice that the task enable mode rewrite calls the handler restart Apache 2. Okay. Task enable module rewrite calls restart Apache 2. And this is this. Run the Ansible playbook to install Apache. Run the Ansible playbook using the Ansible playbook command using the verbose option. The first time Apache installed it on your virtual machine, the task install Apache 2 will take anywhere from 30 seconds to a few minutes depending on your internet speed. 
Okay, and run Ansible Playbook, verbose, and the name of the playbook, install Apache Playbook. Remember on Ansible Apache directory. Do this on terminal. Ansible Playbook, verbose, and the name of the file is install Apache Playbook. YAML. Do this on Ansible Apache directory. Enter. Okay, install Apache 2. Now is uh, downloading and installing Apache 2. So this may take a while according the according the the speed Okay, review. Install Apache 2 and the dependencies. Following additional packages will be installed. Apache 2 Bing, Apache 2 Data, Apache 2 Udils and other libraries. And here is downloading from the repositories. Okay, this is our repository and another repository, another repository to get the packages. Okay. And and downloading unpacking okay unpacking unpacking enable enabling modules enable modules and Installing packages, additional packages will be installed. Okay, very good. Enable the module and restart the server. The host value is 0023, OK4, change it 3, fail at 0. Very nice. The play recap should display OK and fail at 0, indicating a successful playbook execution. OK, fail at 0. Very nice. Verify Apache has been installed. Use the following command to verify that Apache is now installed. Press Q to quit. sudo systemctl status Apache 2. Okay, review the status of the process. sudo systemctl status Apache 2. And now you can see it's active and running.
open Chromium web browser and enter IPv4 address of your new server 192.0.23 to see the default Apache 2 web page. Okay, go to Chromium. When I two zero two three enter. Very good. Add options to your Ansible playbook for Apache web servers. In a production environment, the Apache 2 default installation is typically customized for the specific features needed by the organization. An Ansible playbook can help automate these configuration tasks as well. In this part, you will customize your playbook by specifying that the Apache server uses a different port number. Create your Ansible playbook for installing Apache. In Visual Studio Code, create a new file in the Ansible Apache directory with the following name. Install Apache Options Playbook. Okay, on Ansible Apache, right click new file. Okay, install Apache two options playbook punto yamr review. Install Apache options playbook yamr enter. Add the following information to the file. Make sure you use the proper YAML indentation. Okay, the host web servers become yes to get root privileges. Install Apache. Enable the module. And configure. Configure the this file, configure this file, uh, ports.conf set AD81 okay, use port AD81 then Apache 2 virtual host on port AD81 Okay, create, create the virtual host. Finally, restart. Okay. Um, I will copy this, uh, in, copy this, this code, the install Apache playbook, copy. Go to install Apache options, paste. Very nice, bit modify. Okay, this is very good. Uh, three dashes, host web servers become yes. Tasks, name, install Apache 2. APT, name, Apache 2. Update case, yes, state latest. Name, enable mode, rewrite to enable the module. Apache 2 module, name, rewrite, state present. Notify restart Apache, call the handler. Okay, add a new task. Enter, enter the um, backspace, backspace, name, uh, sp column, space, and Apache to listen. On port AD81. Okay, Apache 2 listen, listen on port AD81. It's only a name, you can use any name. Tab mm, line in file, mm, the destination file is this. Let's see. Apache 2 directory and the file is ports.conf. 
space a regular expression Okay, um, try to find that uh, or or use the following uh, option open a terminal man ASCII sorry it's this and copy the character I need the character um, is is this copy paste okay listen ID okay space and the line listen AD81 state present Okay, the line configured with listen AD changed to listen AD81. Tap, 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 notify. The handler tab dash and use this handler restart apache2 the same name and another task to create a virtual host be careful with the alignment name column apache2 virtual host on port AD81. Okay, it's only a name. We create the virtual host. Okay, and copy this here. Enter, tap, line in file. Destination Etsy Apache 2 directory with Enter to sites available. Sites dash available directory. And the file is 000 dash default.conf. Space the regular expression, copy this. The regular expression is different. It's the configuration of the virtual host. Okay, use this. Uh,
بره درخواست دیس کپی دیس The line is this AD AD one state present and notify to call the handler. Tap, 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 enter, notify. And finally, the handler to restart the service. Okay, review. Host web servers become yes task. Install Apache, enable the module, restart. Listen on port 8081 and modify this file ports.conf. Listen 80 now. Set listen 8081. State present. Restart. Create the virtual host. The, the directory is uh, at C Apache 2 sites available. The file is default.conf 000-default.conf and this line AD set to AD81 okay be careful state present notify start Apache The handlers to restart the restart the service, the server. Save. This playlist is very similar to the previous one with the addition of two tasks that have the web servers listening on port 8081 instead of port 80. The line in file module is used to replace existing lines in the Etsy Apache 2 ports.conf and the Etsy Apache 2 sites available 000 default conf files. You can search the Ansible documentation for more information on the line in file module. Okay. Um, It's very simple, go to the terminal, Ansible doc, the module is uh, line in file, enter. This module ensures a particular line is in a file or replace an existing line using a back reference regular expression. This is primarily useful when you want to change a single line in a file only. Very nice. Q, Q, quit. Okay. Examine the two files that will be modified by the playbook. Display the Etsy Apache 2 ports.conf and the Etsy Apache 2 sites available. 00 default.conf. Notice the web server is currently listening on port 80. Okay, verify. Okay, verify the two files. Okay, and let's use less and go to directory Etsy Apache 2 and uh, ports that and press tab to complete. Okay. Enter. Okay, and now it's listen on port 80. Okay, Q to quit. 
go go to the sites dash abide press tab to complete and zero 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 press tab to complete okay review this file using the last uh, utility enter look at this virtual host is in ad okay You need to change this to AD81. Q. Okay, run the Ansible playbook, but uh, review the the code, the playbook. I can see the following and go to terminal. Look at this, the virtual host is uh, B uppercase and H uppercase. B uppercase, H uppercase. Okay, and review on 00default.conf again. B uppercase, H uppercase. Okay, so uh, Q, uh, Visual Studio Code. Be careful, this should be H uppercase. So, this will cause um, a failure, an error. Okay, it should be virtual host B uppercase H uppercase. Same. Okay, save and run the Ansible playbook. Run the Ansible playbook using the Ansible playbook command. If you want, use the verbose option. In this case, it's not using that option. Use the file install Apache options playbook. Ansible playbook install underscore Apache underscore options tab. Okay, enter. Okay, very nice. Uh, install Apache, enable module, listen on port AD81, create a virtual host on AD81, restart the service. Okay, six changed, three failed, zero. Okay, verify that Apache has been installed. View the files ports.conf and 000 default.conf again. Notice that the playbook modified these files to listen on port 8081. Okay, review ports.conf. Okay, 8081, very nice queue. And default 000 default.conf. 8081, very nice queue. And open the Chromium browser and their IP for others of your new server, but this time specify 8081 as the port number. Okay, in Chromium, use 182.0.2.3. Column AD81. Success. Very good. Very nice. Also, you can see in the ports.com file that Apache 2 is also listening on port 443. 
This is for secure HTTP. You have not yet configured Apache 2 for secure access. This is, of course, would be added to your Ansible playbook, but is beyond the scope of this course. Okay, and close Chromium, close the terminal, close Visual Studio Code, and thank you very much.